Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, www.orlandopainters.net, and we're here in Apopka, Florida, at the Western Regional Orange County Water Plant Facility. This is the main headquarters for Orange County for all their commercial industrial water plants. And Orange County hires us to paint all their interior of all their buildings and all their exterior uh, concrete water tanks. Those are two million gallon concrete water tanks. We'll be painting those soon as well. I think this is the eighth or ninth water plant we've done for Orange County. Um, they just built that new 7,000 square foot beautiful commercial building here for um, this will be the new office space for all the employees here at this particular water plant. Beautiful building. We were supposed to paint these, they're called GSTs, ground storage tanks. But um, there's so much construction going on over there building that building there. They didn't want us to paint it and get all the dirt and dust flying into the paint. So we're holding off on that particular project. And here, this is a pretty big uh, main control building here they have and we're painting all the inside of this so we have a lot of prep work to do in these these areas I'll, I'll walk you through this building and we're painting all these walls all that conduit and piping and whew, there's a lot of stuff now anywhere on the walls you see that conduit there papered off that all has to do with fire and we can't they're all stainless steel piping that's got to do with marked marked fire so uh, it all has to be completely protected all the walls will be painted take all that paper and tape off that piping so it's nice and perfect um, we're not using your typical you know house paint on a project like this this is commercial industrial environment and you use the proper products I don't like to talk too much about products I use you never know who's listening as far as, uh, you know, so-called competition. I don't like to do people's homework for them. But um, this, the, the coating, I don't even call this what we use on this paint. I call it a coating. And it's an industrial coating. It's made by Sherwin-Williams. And it really is meant for industrial commercial environments like this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in, in a plant like this. I mean, there's... Besides the fact there's tons of dirt and dust, tons of employees, you know, putting their hands on the walls, boots on the walls. There's a, this is a water treatment plant. So, I mean, you get exhaust from these generators. This is the generator room here. These big, look at these big, huge, beautiful generators, Caterpillar generators. Now, if all the power goes out of this plant, these two generators here will kick on and um, supply all the power out here. So. There's no downtime. But there's a lot of stuff going on. You got chemicals in the air. I mean, you got vapors. You've got different types of chemicals that you know they clean the walls with. Chemicals that are in the air that cause corrosion and um, will peel off your typical normal top of the line house paint. In a lot of cases like this, you know, if you go into like, say there's just a regular standard warehouse or something, yeah, you could come in here with like, you know, super paint or something like that. And you could paint all these block walls. Um, that's just not going to not going to hold up in a place like this. We have tons of metal I beams here, as you can see. All these I beams, all these metal braces, all this metal conduit, plastic conduit. You have all these metal doors, this metal shroud thing that must put, you know, uh, shoot the exhaust outside or sucks in air from the outside to cool these generators and stuff i'm not sure but see like see all that peel and paint and whoever painted this place and there's there's tons of places like that in here I'll, I'll show some of them but i'd be here all day if i showed you all the bad stuff but this is what happens when you use you know your standard typical paint you know contractors through the years have bid these projects for the county and you know they're cheap guys cheap 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 so they put cheap cheap paint on your walls and then you've got all these peeling problems and 
you know, if, did the jobs the right way. I, I, I can't say it enough. I mean, every, I know everybody's in competition to get jobs, but you get some of these contractors out here that just lowball stuff so bad that it's unbelievable. It doesn't really affect me because I'm not kind of, we're not really bidding the same type of work. I mean, people that, people that bid like that, they don't, they, they can't even, they don't even know how to do work like this. So, but you know, all the consumers out there, it's, I've said it a few times, I don't harp on it too much, but you know, do your homework on these, on these painting companies and painting contractors and, and cheaper is never better. Everyone knows that. I mean, like I've said in other prior videos, I mean, if you're buying a TV, like a, you know, a nice three, $4,000 television set, and it's the same television sets at three different stores, the same exact one, and you can buy it cheaper at one store than another, sure, totally understandable why you'd go buy the TV at a better price at another store. But when it comes to service, a service, especially in Florida, Cheaper is never, ever, ever going to be better. They're going to shortcut you somewhere. <laughs> you know, and that's not going to benefit you any, in any fashion whatsoever. Either it's going to be they don't have the proper insurances. You know, they try to hand you a binder or something out of their notebook and tell you they have insurance. That's when, you, when, when you're asking for a contractor to provide proof of insurance, you always get it directly from the contractor's insurance company. You know, the insurance company is never going to send you the coverages if it's not valid and up to date. So that's one way of uh, having lower prices is your overhead's lower, of course. Then you got stuff like, uh, you know, using cheap products. Telling you, you know, either telling you that they're using or tell, telling you that they're going to use a particular product and then you wouldn't even know about it. They'd go down and buy some cheap crap and you would never know. Or they just use cheap craft. There's just so many things that can happen when you're trying to go cheap. And you can't, you know, as a contractor, you really can't get discouraged by these cheap guys out there because when they're doing stuff like that, they're not making any money anyway. So, you know, I get it where a lot of times customers will say, hey, I got a lower price. You know, with this company, can you, can you match them? Well, first you gotta go apples to apples. And two, if somebody's lowballing you that bad, you know, no, I'm not going to come down and beat their price. So, you know, it's about it's about making money. I mean, let's not, you know, we can't fool each other. It's about making money, but it's about doing the best possible work. I mean, the best work you can possibly do with the best available products on the market. Period. End of story. And if you do that, like Orange County, like this, they they want the best painting companies working for them. They want the best available products on the market to use. So they're not having to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars over and over again. You know, they want to do it right the first time. They want a contractor who's got all the proper paperwork and insurances and all the coverages, real workers' compensation, not workers' comp exempt. And has a great buzz in the community. I mean, they, they research you when you do work for, for the county. They, they research you pretty good. They call all your, you know, commercial clients and they want to go see projects that you've done. They want to talk to the powers that be at some of these, you know, big companies you've done work for. And if you can satisfy them, then they're, they're fine with that and you can start working for them. And see what they've had in the past is, you know, cheap guys coming in here doing cheap labor work and using inferior products and they're having all kinds of problems. I mean, they're getting rust all over their there are metal beams and stuff. They're getting peel and paint all over the place. All their doors can't hold up to even, you know, somebody's hands touching it for six months, you know, the oil in people's hands. So they want it done right. Okay, here's another big room we're doing here. I can't remember what the name of this room is though, but look at all the conduit and piping that we have to work around. A lot of work here. They have these big, huge, uh, I don't know what they call these, but they're pretty important. <laughs> they appear to be. So we're gonna be painting all these walls here. As you can see, you can see all these boxes here have to be thoroughly covered. They don't want one speck of paint on this. 
this is looks like this is what's running everything so so we got a lot of stuff to work around here it's so we'll have tomorrow morning we'll have uh first thing in the morning we'll have you know scissor lifts out here and um inside electric boom lifts to get around all these tight spots and stuff make our life a little easier it's certainly a lot safer when you're using scissor lifts you know a nice big platform the guys can work on work on from and boom lifts you know in places like this that's why they make those type of uh that equipment it's safer for workers compensation purposes for uh, safety purposes and quality purposes you use the right equipment i mean trying to do rooms like this with ladders it doesn't make any sense i mean you can't really i mean look at look what you have to deal with here you know how are you going to get ladders back here they really don't want you uh you know covering these up putting ladders on top of these boxes and standing on top of ladders and painting it just it's just ridiculous some guys do it like that though it's just you can't get quality work that way it's not safe at all you could damage their equipment here you could hurt yourself it's just not worth it they make equipment you know you got to put that type of stuff in your bid and in your quotes you know so you come in here and you just drive a you know a, a boom lift down here and just boom you just boom right out to this wall and you paint these walls nothing to it when you got a straight shot like this here and you don't have anything to go over you could run a scissor lift all the way down this wall no big deal you're working off a platform it's safe you do great work that way okay we got some more here i just want to show you one of our um this is one of my crews here i don't know how many guys i got here today kind of all over the place around here <laughs> but um just wanted you to see one of our uh orange county and we work we service the entire uh central florida area and for some uh you know contracts we have we actually go you know down to south florida and take care of some properties and stuff for you know uh one one other company but on an everyday basis we service the central florida area and we do you know work for coca-cola tg lee tons of work for sherwin williams orange county convention center pepsi cola the list goes on and on we have some really great relationships with uh, some real great fantastic companies and we really appreciate it we really do um this room here is an electrical room I and mean, it's just kind of an office space here this was all painted yesterday the only thing they didn't do yesterday in here the, the doors and we'll do the doors last there's another room here authorized personal only i guess i'm authorized <laughs> um this room was done yesterday it was almost the same color over same color it's just going a little brighter they just kind of want a little brighter uh look in here a little livelier vibe in here um well, here's another here's a big big room here this is called the this is the high service pump room now, this room is big time here all that you see the walls all block and then above that up to the ceiling is like a mesh metal mesh uh sheeting and what that is actually it's a soundproof barrier system we first quoted this job they wanted to do just the block up to that metal sheeting but yesterday when we got here they thought it would look a little odd if they had fresh paint on the walls I and mean, we're we're painting all this conduit um anything that's blue is going back safety blue again anything like i said with the red marker on it leading to any kind of red box that all has to get protected all this other conduit we can paint all of it um, there's a lot of prep work tons i mean any, any gray boxes need to be covered any red boxes need to be covered any stainless steel piping with red markings have to be covered all those gauges have to be covered all the lighting has to be covered exit signs have to be covered it's there there's a tons and tons of work here but they didn't want to paint all this lower part and all the doors and then have this soundproof barrier sheeting a different color so we're gonna actually we just um, submitted a change order yesterday and we're gonna paint that soundproof uh, metal barrier 
the sheeting there all the way around this entire room. Definitely a lot of work here as you guys can see. But again, they're getting all this peel and paint because the wrong product was used years ago when they did this. So they rely on us to, to supply the right materials and do it the right way. This is what we do every single day. We do this, we, you know, Taylor Farms produce plant, TG Lee, the dairy plant, you know, inside Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, all these places, this is what we do on a daily basis. So we know exactly what products hold up in what conditions, without question. And they've, you know, the county's researched that. They realize what we've done in the past. They realize what we do on a daily basis. And they want us to maintain their plants as well because of our name and reputation. Here's more. But when we get done, this won't happen anymore. I mean, look at this wall here. This is pretty sophisticated, you know? There's a lot of different chemicals and stuff running through these pipes that lets off vapors, that has direct contact with the paint. So you gotta use products that resist that type of, uh, these type of chemicals. Not to mention that they clean these walls all the time um, with cleaning solutions and, you know, pressure washers, garden hoses, um, they'll use brooms and, you know, like deck brooms and scrub these walls. Um, different types of cleaning solutions. So you have to use product. You gotta, you gotta know your products. And you gotta, you gotta have the experience to know what products hold up. I mean, there's a lot of products. It's just like walking into a paint store or, or one of your local, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's. The guy behind the counter, generally, <laughs> well, not generally. I mean, almost every single one of them behind that counter at the paint stores or especially at like Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff, they've never painted anything in their entire lifetime. They sit behind the counter there and tell you what to buy, and they have no idea what actually really works. I mean, did they read a pamphlet or some kind of uh, literature on products that they're selling? Probably so. That's probably how they know a little bit about it. But you can't go by that. I mean, the literature is gonna tell you basically whatever you wanna hear. They're gonna tell you what the product is designed to do what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't necessarily mean that product works because there's other products out there. And if you've been in this uh, type of uh, industry for long enough, you'll know. I mean, I've been doing this for over 25 years now. So I know what products work. I know what a product's gonna hold up, what's gonna hold up one year, what's gonna hold up five years, what's gonna hold up 10 years. I know all that stuff. And there's not a product on the market really that I don't know about. So, you know, you could walk into Sherwin Williams and say, hey, what, what's the best thing to use right here? Like a guy, could, what's the best stuff to use on this? Well, he's gonna refer back to, hmm, what product? Let me see, let me think in my head. Or he's gonna get on the computer or he's gonna make a phone call. Oh, um, that's made for industrial environment. But he doesn't know what actually really works because you gotta have been able to do it before and then be able to go back to a project or get feedback from your customer 